31 days, about a thousand tips, and still no sign of baby Lisa Irwin. As her photos become more and more outdated, we asked experts if it'll be harder to recognize her. Sloan Heller is live outside the Irwin home with the latest. Sloan, good morning. Good morning, Curtis. Well, right now, of course, we have photos of baby Lisa when she was 10 months old and younger. And so the big question is, you know, how much has her appearance, perhaps her behavior changed over the last month? She is turning one year old next week. And we talked to doctors and they say one major thing to look out for is, of course, her teeth. When she was first reported missing, she had her two bottom teeth. Now she probably has several more. Also, we talked to the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children. And we asked them about those age progression photos that are typically used in adults. And they said they don't publish those for children two and under because simply their face doesn't change enough. They still have a lot of baby fat in their face, and really their characteristics and their facial features and things like that don't change as much as they do between one and four. And at this point, again, police still have no solid leads, no arrests in this case. Again, we have not talked to uh, Lisa Irwin's parents for quite some time now. We're live this morning in Kansas City. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News today. All right, Sloan, thanks for that update. Here's another look at Lisa Irwin. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, weighs about 30 pounds. She has her two bottom teeth and a beauty mark on her right thigh. If you see her, obviously call the tips hotline. Well, you can also follow along online as investigators search for a Lisa Irwin. There you can watch home video, see an inside tour of the Irwin home, and get a timeline of the night baby Lisa disappeared. It's all on NBCActionNews.com slash Lisa.